So this video, I want to talk about how mentorship is actually very overrated. Thank you. Hey folks, so I'm in New Orleans for a product team offsite. The company that I work for, we are remote first, and my teammates, my product teammates, are literally all across the US. But our work is very highly collaborative, and I've said in multiple videos that, you know, you're going to have to collaborate with a bunch of different uh, folks, and that's necessary for building a product. And um, yeah, so since we're remote first, uh, we like to try to do these, you know, a few times a year, just so that we are investing in the relationship, building trust, because that's the secret sauce for working better together, designing, building better together. So this video, I want to talk about how mentorship is actually very overrated. Look, mentors are important, and I know you want them. You want them because they'll teach you, they'll guide you, they'll uh, help you level up your career, they'll look after you. If you can find this person, by all means, like invest in that. But I don't know if the math is really in your favor because look, this person has to get along with you. This person has to have the right knowledge and the experience that will be helpful to you. Not only that, but this person has to have that coaching and teaching ability so that you can understand and digest the lessons that you know they've learned and they wanna pass on to you. But more importantly, you need them to have the time to invest in you. Yeah, to find all of that in a single person, I don't know if that really makes sense. The odds are against you. And here's a little tough love that someone else gave me. Some of you may be looking for a mentor because you want them to spoon feed you the information. You think that's the easiest way to learn and grow. And some of you may be wanting a mentor, frankly, as an excuse to not go do the thing, to try stuff and fail. You're afraid of failing, which is actually the best way to learn and grow, to try stuff. So instead, look for superheroes. Superheroes, they don't really know that you exist, but you have access to them through books, podcasts, videos, workshops, blogs, articles, etc. And the list goes on. And you can have as many superheroes as you want, and you can cherry pick the best lessons from each superhero and piece it together so that it works for you. You can maybe get a better outcome from reverse engineering their success and trying to apply it into your life, your professional world, your personal life. Don't block yourself. Don't stunt your growth by waiting around for a mentor because it may not happen. So find your heroes instead. All right, I don't have that much time left here. This is my last day. I probably should maybe you know, at least explore the city just a little bit before I head back home. So I'll see you.